Serving good water. This is WAXC TV, Lake Martin's hometown station. It's all good with Iceberg Slim. And welcome to another edition of It's All Good with Iceberg Slim. I'm Iceberg Slim, your host. Got a great power pack show for you again this week. I say it every week, and we try to do it every week. I've been talking to a young man, a uh, very young man, for several, several months about coming on the show. Uh, first time we met, we were at church, and he gave me, gave me his book. A uh, book called The Covenant. We're going to talk a little bit more about The Covenant lately, later, but I'm going to introduce my guest right now, Mr. Jerry Abbott. How you doing, sir? Yeah, hey, bud. All right. <laughs> and how are you? I'm great. I mean, uh, it's good to finally have you on the show. Well, now, it's good to finally be on Iceberg. <laughs> all right. Now, if you will, tell the audience a little bit about yourself now. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> I'm crippled. I'm senile. <laughs> But I'm happy. And you're here. And I'm here, all <laughs> here, every bit of me. <laughs> all right, now just for a little background now, your background is ministry. Yeah, yeah, I was a Methodist minister for 40 years, and then they kicked me out. <laughs> and and uh, after 40 years of wandering through the wilderness, I came back to the promised land here in Ellick City. That's right. Now, we met at... Flint Hill United Methodist Church. We did, yeah. And you were one of the first people to welcome me to the, you know, to the, to the facility. I mean, genuine person. My baby calls you Gramps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to welcome you because you sorry old thing. You're my yeah. son-in-law <laughs> because your wife's my daughter and your daughter's my granddaughter. <laughs> what do you think about that, folks? <laughs> now, you sent me gave me an autographed copy of your book, The Covenant, and I read it. And yeah. then now I'm rereading it because it's so close to what's going on right now that is eye-opening and kind of scary. <laughs> when I wrote that book, I had in there that the leader of the, one of the political groups among the Kurds ended up being the first president. That hadn't happened yet. Right. And, and that scared the bejeebies out of me <laughs> when, when I'd written about it and, and then it happened. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I'm that wise a, politi a, a political prophet. I think there was something else involved in my writing that book. May I read something from the yes, day first? Please. I believe this with all my heart, and I think there are more good church people than one would think who also think the same way, but they're not going to say it in their churches. And I'll talk a little about why I believe this too. The prologue. I don't know if you recall that I have traveled to distant places and met people of varying religious and political persuasions. A Jew in Alabama, a Baptist in Alaska, a youth in Sweden, a Muslim in Turkey. They express the same concern. How can a God who is truly loved turn away from any who earnestly cry out for the deity's embrace and direction regardless of tongue or creed. Too often religion and politics are perverted by arrogance and prejudice to disparage, divide, and harm. When this happens, there must be a response. That is why I offer the following read. Well, if I can recommend it, I would tell anybody to read that book because yeah. <laughs> the, the perspective is, is, is so strange. It starts out, it's closely linked to 
the history of this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can count back, I can count back events that parallel yeah. uh, what's written in the book. And then it goes on to the, 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 the uh, what you put forth as far as God and loving people. Uh, I can't see God checking to see if you're a Democrat or a Republican and all this good stuff, you know. And or I know Baptist, or Baptist, Baptist whatever. Or a Jew G or right, a Muslim. Right. And to start with that, pre with that pre uh, premise yeah. and to go from there and then to tie it into historical events. I, I, I took my son is a Baptist minister, yeah. uh, Pastor Jamal Oliver. Well, he probably wouldn't agree with what I just said. But if, if you are and forward, that's all right. <laughs> if you're forward thinking, yeah, you're always open to knowledge. Yeah, life is you know life doesn't have to be agreed. If you, I put it like this: if you write it on my shirt, mm. and I look in the mirror. I may not agree, but I can't argue with what's there because you can see it. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. the thing about it is we dismiss a lot of stuff because of lack of knowledge. Yeah. And I think there's a uh, scripture that goes with that. I'm going to leave that alone. But for our people perish for lack of knowledge. Anyway, yeah. but uh, yeah. if the information is there and the knowledge is there, you can derive your conclusion from that knowledge. You know, I think a lot of our problems today is that we don't want knowledge because it may change our mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's easy. Uh, ignorance is a lack of knowledge. Yeah. So you can remain ignorant if you don't want any knowledge. Right. You know? But what, what inspired you to write the book? I started out actually writing about that airplane crash that crashed on our property, that right. jet airplane. And then next thing I knew, I was going along with that, but in an entirely different direction than I'd ever thought of. I believe, and maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but it's my belief that something else was involved in my writing that book. Uh, because there were some thoughts that came out of it that I really can't claim credit for. For example, as, as I said, uh, saying that this Kurdish leader was going to be the first president of the new Iraq. Yeah. Uh, shoot, I... Well, well, pretty much all that I pulled up was from the Internet. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've never been to Iraq. I've, I've never met that Kurdish leader. Mm -hmm. I've been privileged to do a lot of traveling, but that's one place I haven't been. But I know when we were in Turkey, there was this Muslim lady. She was a guide, our, our guide. And we ended up walking around with our arms around each other's shoulders, calling one another brother and sister. And, and uh, something that I, I think came out more than once in, in the book is that uh, if we can claim the same God as our Father, that must mean we're brothers and sisters. Even that thing sitting right over there must be my sister. <laughs> you know? And, and uh, so why, why sure, uh, my granddaughter is my granddaughter, who is your daughter. Yes. Because we're all family. Right. And, you know, a lot of the, I, I've been, I follow, I'm always on Facebook. I read. Yeah. I'm, I'm struggling with life itself, trying to figure it out. And yeah. I'm not the only person who hasn't figured it out. But <laughs> <laughs> most of our problems are kind of manufactured. Yeah. Because if you put a group of kids together, four or five year olds, until we teach them who they're supposed to hate, they don't know anything about that stuff. No. They no, just uh -huh. out there having fun. Exactly. We exactly. get political groups who say, okay, to be in our group, you be gotta be against that group. Yeah. It's rare to find people who say, Let's be for something. Right. You know, you got a lot of people who are I'm against this, I'm against that. And uh, this group of people we got around the president now, everybody's against something. Yeah. But nobody's for anything. Yeah. And I, you know, I say a while ago, if I was going to vote, it'd be 
and I, none of the above if I had a choice because from what I see, well, I ain't going to get political. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Man, I hear you loud and clear. Absolutely. But, but, but you know, they'll tell us, like you were touching on this, you've got to march in lockstep, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and where is the freedom of thought in, in that? Yeah. Uh, I think I'll tell you a little bit about some of my civil rights past. Okay. Well, I did, didn't I? I? I'm not sure, but tell me. Well, you've heard of Jose Williams. Say again? I say you've heard of Jose Williams. Yes, yes. And you've heard of Martin Luther King. Yes. Okay, well, I've eaten lunch with Jose. There were seven of us. Two of the persons in this lunch, one was president of the Weatherman's Underground. Mm. The other one was president of the Students for Democratic Society. Now, now, I was invited to this, and I've often wondered okay. if, if the one who was the president of the Weatherman's Underground might not be this guy that's getting all this attention now. Let, let me cut you right there. We're going to go to commercial, okay. and we're going to come back and talk some more. We've been in the Zion Memorial segment of the show. We'll be back after these messages. Professionalism, reliability, experience. At T-Rapid Return Taxes, these are not just words. They are guidelines. IRS registered tax return preparer Freddie Trailer is a lifelong resident of the area. He is not here today and gone tomorrow. For tax prep, e-file, a customer advanced loans, see the professionals at 214 Calhoun Street, downtown Ellic City. T-Rapid Return Taxes. Renaissance Mortgage Lending to help make that house your home. Renaissance Mortgage Lending. Understanding you. Equal housing lender. Zion Memorial Funeral Home, located on 1881 Goodwater Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama, is one of the fastest growing funeral homes in the area. We offer a caring, complete, and dignified service. We offer our family as your family in your time of need. Allow our caring staff to join you in celebrating the life of your loved one. That's Zion Memorial Funeral Home. Brian Sims, owner and licensed mortician. It's the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn, your one-stop shop for iPod integration, Bluetooth adaption, car audio, car video, alarms, remote engine starters, backup cameras, radar detectors, and much, much, much more. New products are arriving daily, and pricing has never been better at the Car Audio and Video Superstore, the Car Stereo Shop, Opelika Road, across from Sherwin-Williams in Auburn. Hey, this is Steve from the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn. For your best product at the best prices with the best warranty installed by the best technician, visit us at 1914 Opelika Road or visit us on the web. JD's Tire and Lube. If you need diesel, if you need non-ethanol gas, if you love service, need new tires, don't waste your time shopping around. Go to JD's Tire and Lube. They can get you any tire, anytime at the best prices around, and you get free rotation and balance for life of the tire. JD offers full service for whatever your needs are. Oil change, brake repair, radiator work, batteries. You can even get your car washed. The customer service is unbeatable at JD's Tire and Lube. Three Center. Hey, yes, Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center has a 2006 Honda Civic two-door coupe. You need to come and see us for great pricing. They're the walking man's friend. You can buy here. You can pay here. No credit checks. You can call Lori at Lake Martin Truck and Auto for great pricings on all vehicles on the lot. If you're tired of walking, if you're ready to ride, it's Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center. And we're back in the Zion Memorial portion of the show. We're here with Minister Jerry Abbott, uh, retired, but he's never retired because he's always on the job. Now, we were talking about the covenant and how a jet plane just happens to 
<laughs> park in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Everybody on it, you know, was killed. Right. Yeah. Now, we got a picture of the book. You need to see this book right now. You need to get this book. You need to read this book. I started reading the book. It took me probably four or five months yeah. to read the book. And it's not that long of a book, but there's so much information there. And a lot of unusual names. Yes, too. yes. <laughs> and then when I finished the book, I turned it right back over and started reading it again. Well, now. I mean, it, there is so much information there, and a lot of it is Scripture-based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't help that. It's, yeah, yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed writing it, and... Uh, it was it it was really a strange experience though because I honestly did not feel that it came out of my mind. There was one scene in there I identified uh, a lot of the characters after those I knew, uh, and uh, two of the uh, Bradford Whitfields, well, all three of his children, two sons and a daughter, were patterned after my two sons and a daughter. And when uh, uh, one of the sons got killed, mm. that, uh, as the saying goes, that snuck up on me. Mm. And uh, I got in touch with my wife, and I was just bawling as though my own son had been killed. It was, it was that, 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 cat that cat real. Cat yes. And I still don't like to think about it, to be honest. Uh, but uh, uh, over, over here in the, uh, toward the last of it, the other which is beyond. I don't know if you recall that. I, at the last, I, I have, yeah, to, you have yeah. to remind me. We can but, take that down there. What's that? Go ahead. I, I, was, I wanted to come back to that shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but... Uh, Contrary to what many believe, all people are children of God, for they are one with God. God does not reject his children, although it is possible for one to reject God and to stray into outer darkness of his own free will. And so I go on, and it's boring to, to read anything from a book, but uh, uh, those, those particular thoughts were what was was driving this and and I felt driving me I know when uh, uh, I was about to go into ministry for the f first church uh, my wife and I got married and uh, she didn't know it but the night before we got married uh, my buddies pitched a bachelor party <laughs> and they took me down to the lake and I can't blame it on them, but, right. <laughs> but I got to feeling too good. <laughs> and if you could see any of my wedding pictures, I look like a raccoon. I just <laughs> had all these circles on in my eyes. And uh, so my dad had already figured it out. But when I got back, uh, well, the good Lord got even with me. My wife came down with the flu on our honeymoon. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and so... Anyway, I, it cut our honeymoon short, so we came back and we were having a revival. And uh, so I went up to the altar at the end of this service. And I said, Lord, I'm, I'm fixing to do something. I don't know what in the world I'm doing. I don't know how to do it. I'm not even sure I know why I'm doing it. And... I like to say my little schizophrenic conversations with God. <laughs> I sense God saying, Jerry, just tell my people that I love them. And I thought, well, that's simple enough. I came to find out that was one of the most difficult tasks a person could have was to get across to people that God loved them. Because now, it's, it's easier for you to tell me usually that God loves me than for you to say God loves Iceberg. Mm -hmm. And it was easier for me to tell the people that God loved them than for me to say, does he really love me too? 
I think this is one of the problems that a lot of people have because we know our, our, our shortcomings. We know them. No, yes. Nobody has to spit it out to us. We know the things that, that we've done that we are ashamed of. And then we can't help but wonder, why in the world would God love somebody like me? <laughs> I know one time I was talking to God, and I said, God, just point out all my sins and mistakes and shortcomings so you and I can work on them together. And God said, Jerry, I only have eternity. <laughs> And, you know, I think that's the story with, with most of us. But God does love us. You know, I've been through a lot of stuff. Yeah. And by the grace of God, I came through uh -huh. a lot of stuff. Yeah. But the biggest thing that I've seen, this is just my observation. Yeah. The biggest problem with people is they cannot forgive themselves. Exactly. You know, exactly. God forgives you anyway. Yeah. You have to forgive yourself. You know, like uh, you're still going over something that happened five years ago, mm -hmm. and you've given it up, you've moved on, but unless you move on, you still got the same thing. Like if you got an old bag in there, and they bring you this new, uh, I don't even know what the styles are now, Gucci bag, and you put all the stuff in the Gucci bag, but when you get ready to go on a trip, so you go back stuff. and get that old bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of my favorite sayings is, that was then, this is now. Mm -hmm. That was then, this is now. And, mm -hmm. and I have to say that quite <laughs> often, <laughs> as, as you say, to continue to convince myself mm -hmm. that that bag of rocks I've been carrying around on my shoulder has been lifted off of me. On that note, there is no way to end this interview, but time makes me end it. I got I've you. got to go to this video, but I think this video will help. This is uh, the Alabama Spirituals. I think Pastor Sean Jones is out first. Out first. Everybody clap your hand. Come on, heaven. Listen, it ain't no use, and nobody's trying to turn me around. Oh, no, help me. It ain't no use. Oh, nobody trying to turn me around. Oh, no. Because my mind is made up. Said that my soul is held down. It ain't no use. No, nobody trying to turn me around. Let me say one thing. Said I've been on this journey for a long time. Since I still have made up mind, it ain't no use. Oh, nobody trying to turn me around. Yeah, but oh, no. Sometimes I get a high, a valley's get low. Sometimes I'm rich, or oh, sometimes I'm poor. It ain't no use. Nobody trying to turn me around. Let me say it one more time. I've been on this journey for a long time. Y'all, I still have a made of mine. It ain't no use. Oh, nobody trying to turn me around. Yeah. Oh, it ain't no use. Ain't no use. Ain't no use, y'all. It ain't no use. It ain't no use. Ain't no use. Ain't no use, y'all. I've been on, on the journey. Shops I still have a made of mine. I'm gonna keep on moving till I see y'all. Ain't no use, ain't no use, y'all. I'm gonna keep on waiting until I ain't no use, ain't no use, y'all. So oh, 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 oh,
We've been in the gospel zone with Jerry Abbott. Get the book. It's called The Covenant. Uh, great man, great book. want to thank you so much for coming on. And we got to do it again because we couldn't find enough time to talk. I know, I know. <laughs> we are... We both loudmouth. That's right. We? We, 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 lo we love to communicate. You bet. You bet. <laughs> Just stay right there. Okay. We'll be back after these commercial messages. Zion Memorial Funeral Home, located on 1881 Goodwater Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama, is one of the fastest growing funeral homes in the area. We offer a caring, complete, and dignified service. We offer our family as your family in your time of need. Allow our caring staff to join you in celebrating the life of your loved one. That's Zion Memorial Funeral Home, Brian Sims, owner and licensed mortician. At Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga, start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Silicaga. Bandy's Barbershop, that's the corner barbershop, Camp Hill, is expanding to three new days. That's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 8 to 5. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 5. Come in, beat the rush, ask about special discounts. And don't forget, convenience store coming soon. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Corner Barbershop, Camp Hill. Call for Jeff. Call for an appointment or just walk in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 5 p.m. Wireless Advantage is Lake Martin's Verizon Premium Retailer. Located in the Marketplace Shopping Center on Highway 280 in Alex City. We've got all the latest cell phones along with the latest Wi-Fi internet products, home phone options, and state-of-the-art tablets. All backed up by Verizon's premium nationwide network. Don't get caught in long lines. Get full Verizon service and products from Apple, BlackBerry, Droid HTZ, iPad, LG, Motorola, and Samsung right here at home. Visit Wireless Advantage in the Marketplace Shopping Center in Alexander City on Highway 280 for all your Verizon wireless wireless needs. City Pond, 148 Calhoun Street, downtown Alexander City. New owner, Andy Tucker, says, come on in. We buy gold and silver. We are coin dealers. See us for title loans and title pawns and guns and ammo. That's City Pond, across from Piggly Wiggly, downtown Alexander City. Give us a call at 256-329-8780 or just come on in to City Pond. M.D. Ross Construction, 115 North Tallahassee Street, Daveville. Experience you can trust for all your home improvement needs, from ground-up construction to roofing. Look no further. No job too big, no job too small. Bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, basement renovations. M.D. Ross Construction can do it and do it well. Call us for your next renovation project. M.D. Ross Construction. Call the office number listed or call our cell, 256 226 4132. Okay, so the government crash tested the F-150. The one with the high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body bolted to a high-strength steel frame. And guess what? It made the strongest statement any truck can make. It pulled a five-star safety rating on all sides for every cab configuration. Because when they say military-grade, they mean battle-tested. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. And we're back in the 
Well, I thought it was Lake Martin Truck and Auto segment of the show. Of course, we're still here. Still, it's all good. We had that long break because we had great things planned for you. Let's go to this video. It's called the ABC's Graduation Speech, and it will set up the next segment. Today, my friends, we still face difficult days ahead. We still have work to do, mountains to climb, and out obstacles to overcome. We cannot stop striving yet. They won't get easier, life's challenges. But they will become more intricate, tricky. But when life's complexities confuse us, when the paradoxical ironies of existence surprise us, and when we are troubled by the uncontrollable external entities, both spiritual and physical, we must remember our ABCs. No, not the alphabet English majors of reading and writing. <laughs> But the ABCs of life, and once we've learned them, we should take them with us as we let our lives do the singing. We should take the A and accept the challenge. The B and believe in ourselves. The C, convert our thoughts into to hopes. And the, the D, the determination to convert our hopes into dreams. We should E, expect some obstacles on the way up and F, fight while being faithful and finish the course. We should G, get God on our side. And H, have a Harvey model of leadership. We should I inspire someone else and J take Jesus on our journey. We should K keep on keeping on and L be a leader. We should M make every day count and N never give up. We must O overcome our obstacles and P put our best foot forward. We must Q quit quitting and R run the race with patience. We must S strive on while T trusting in the Lord. We should U use our talents and V value our time. We should W wait for understanding and X x-ray our own lifestyles. We should Y yearn to achieve all that we seek and Z be zealous when reaching the top. Now, if that is not a setup for this segment, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm bragging, I don't know how I could be any better. But my guests in this segment make it better, and if you look, I think they're going to say they are BR. But we are, <laughs> we're going to let them introduce themselves. Tell me your name, please. Hi, I'm Chase Burry. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. My name is Tyree Gray. All right. Tay Robinson. Good to meet you again. Now, I had the opportunity to speak with you guys at... Uh, one of the meetings of the uh, organization that you belong to. And what's the name of the organization? Students with a Go. Swag, Swag. yeah. Swag. Now, when we were there, we talked, oh, I talked a little bit ab about me, but I was more impressed, and I am more impressed with you guys, because you are, although you're young, you're already accomplishing some things. Uh, now, I'm just going to go where I, where I have it listed. So if you're first... Don't mean you're first, just mean you're first on the list. But Tyree Gray, uh, you're a two sport athlete. What are the sports you? I play football and basketball. Okay. And uh, what are your plans for after high school? I plan on going to attend Murray State University where I will play football there. And I'm undecided on my major right now. Okay. Well, trust me, you got that. <laughs> Chase, tell me about yourself. Paper said, I'm Chase Burke. That's more, more than what you need to know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got the gift for Gab. Now he was beatboxing a while ago. But go ahead. <laughs> um, I plan to graduate and attend. The, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to attend, but I know what I'm majoring in. I'm going to major in biomedical science and either pursue a degree in uh, physical therapy or a pediatrician later. Okay. So. Okay. Take. Uh, I'll be attending Union College. Uh, uh, major in criminal justice and corrections. Okay. Now, Chase, you played football and soccer? Yes, sir. What position football? Outside linebacker. You got to be quick. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> How much you weigh? 169 pounds. Okay, but you weigh 200 when you hit them, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, T, you played football. I also wrestle, and I'm currently doing track. Okay. You were a defensive lineman in football. Yes, sir. Uh, what what, what you doing in track? Uh, discus and shot put. Okay. And you have a scholarship with? Union College. Okay, and that's in Kentucky. Yes, sir. Also, you wrestle a little bit, too, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. State uh, champ. State champ. Okay, that's pretty, yes, sir. pretty, that's a little bit more than a little bit, but yes. that's pretty good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so when you guys are not on the field, what do you do? 
Hang out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you do when you hang out? Uh, try to make a difference. You know, whatever it may be. We feel like somebody's always watching us. Right. So whatever we do, we try to set an example doing it. You know, okay. even if it's just the way that we chill. Let kids know that you, you don't have to be smoking and drinking to have fun. You can do what we do. Exactly. Exactly. I like that. Because, you know, the thing about it, if you, you know, I, I can tell all y'all got swag. So you've been past the mirror, but you carry that imaginary mirror. And if you like the image you see in the mirror, then you're all right. Yes, if you don't like what you see, you might not change something. I, don't, I can't tell you what changed, but, you know, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, something needs to change. Okay, uh, let's get a little bit light. Who's your favorite athlete? Other than yourself. I know you say you. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yes. My favorite, my favorite athlete is uh, Steph Curry. Okay. Don't, uh, a reason, uh, explanation, or they do it. <laughs> well, about 400,000s might tell a story. You know. <laughs> but tell me, sorry. My favorite. favorite athlete is Camden. Okay. Two pretty good guys. Uh, I remember the, where they uh, prayed together on the sideline. So, ain't no bad example. Take. Uh, Trent Richardson. Okay. Yeah. What, 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 what school is that? Uh, <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm over, man. I'm, I'm just messing with it. <laughs> so, you guys have been in swag for. I've been in swag for a year. Okay. From what, when it first started. What motivated you to go to swag? What motivated me to go to swag? Because mm -hmm. it's a good program for you know, like younger kids in the community. Because it's a lot of following going around in the community, and if you see like a I'm like a role model as I am, like a quarterback in the community. Right. Like young kids probably look at look at the mentor program, think it's cool. So they bring like younger kids out to try to. Yeah, join you can lead. I tell you, I'm gonna go to commercial. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna talk some more. Let's go to commercial. Pay some bills. We'll be right back. M.D. Ross Construction, 115 North Tallahassee Street, Daville. Experience you can trust for all your home improvement needs, from ground-up construction to roofing. Look no further. No job too big, no job too small. Bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, basement renovations. M.D. Ross Construction can do it and do it well. Call us for your next renovation project. M.D. Ross Construction. Call the office number listed or call our cell, 256 226 4132. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Renaissance Mortgage Lending to help make that house your home. Renaissance Mortgage Lending. Understanding you. Equal housing lender. JD's Tire and Lube. If you need diesel, if you need non-ethanol gas, if you love service, need new tires, don't waste your time shopping around. Go to JD's Tire and Lube. They can get you any tire, anytime at the best prices around, and you get free rotation and balance for life of the tire. JD offers full service for whatever your needs are. Oil change, brake repair, radiator work, batteries. You can even get your car washed. The customer service is unbeatable at JD's Tire and Lube, 316 Tallapoosa Street, Alexander City. In the old Foshi service station building. Our name means a great deal. Kearney Motors since 1943. Something for everyone. Get on the road and get driving today. Financing available. The best cars around. Come see us now. Our name a great deal, Curly Motors, since 
And we're back in this segment. Uh, got three fantastic young men on the set here. Tyree Gray, Chase Burton, Tay Robinson, accomplished young men. And we were talking about being positive influences um, and how easy it is to make the wrong choice. Now, tell about SWAG. No, not, I know you're not a member of SWAG, but you are a positive force. And don't ever let anybody tell you that you're not. Tell a little bit about SWAG and some of the people who uh, helped in the founding of SWAG and who may have, uh, you know, uh, convinced you guys to be a part of it. Um, well, we can start with um, Michael Goggins, uh, Mr. Les Calhoun, you know that. Uh, Fuji, I'm not <laughs> sure what else Fuji's name is, but we call Demetrius him Fuji. Demetrius Fleece. Demetrius, that's <laughs> Fuji. Um, mm. A lot of people like that, Ashley. Um, Anyway, long, make a long story short, people who've been there before, mm -hmm. who've already done what you've done. Right. So you don't feel like you're in something alone. Mm -hmm. You feel like somebody's never been in your situation. Somebody can't understand you. Well, there are four people right there who can. Mm -hmm. And they can say that they've done a lot worse or they made a worse mistake and they, this is how they got back. They don't emphasize the wrong you did, but they emphasize the right way to get back on the right track. Mm -hmm. And that's something we appreciate about our mentors this way. Okay, so that's all right then. I don't feel bad about you dropping that that little logic you were dropping on the mic now, cause you you got some stuff to say. Go ahead, Tyree. <laughs> really, Chase really just covered it all. I can just piggyback on what he said. With with them, with us playing sports, and with Fuji and Greg and Thomas, uh, they, all them going through sports, knowing that it, somebody watching you all the time. So you know, you always got to keep your mind right and do the right thing, cause you never know who's watching you. Well said, right. well said. <laughs> okay. Um, now, being the quarterback, you have a tendency to have to be the leader. So if the quarterback goes out prior to the game and kind of get drunk, and then you don't perform as well as you should, that will kind of affect the team, right? Yes, sir. So you represent more than just you. Yes, sir. So now we got a state champion wrestler over here. Been wrestling since how long? Since seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yes, sir. What what, how, what was your record your seventh grade year? Seventh grade year, uh, probably evened out. Okay. Yeah. And it was better the eighth grade. My eighth, yes, sir. My eighth grade year was better. Ninth grade. Better. So just progressively yes, building sir. toward a, a championship. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think that equates to life? Talking to the group. Yes, sir. That's all simple. That's just like in everything. The longer you do it, the better you ought to be at it. Yeah. You've been there before. You've made those mistakes. You've corrected those mistakes, and therefore you've improved yourself. You've improved your situation. You've improved the people around you. And in life, that's all the stuff that comes together because you don't live this life alone. Right. I need you to get where I want to go, and you need me along some type of way. Mm -hmm. So we use each other. We build relationships. We build um, connections with jobs, with people, with uh, people who are younger than you, people who are older than you. Those are the type of things that build a lifetime legacy because your legacy is not defined on just you and who you are. It's defined on what you did to improve somebody else's life, how you made a difference with somebody else. So what year did you take sociology? <laughs> 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 I like you guys, man. Uh, I, for, before I forget, I want to commend you guys on the job that you're doing. I mean, it's not easy all the time to be a positive force. Because no, you're going to have that buddy that's saying, oh, man, you, and I don't even know what the lingo is on the street right now, but y'all know what it is. They're going to try to push you into doing something negative. And if you're progressive, um, well, let me tell a quick story. When this show was started, it was meant to be a gospel show. I didn't feel comfortable doing a gospel show, total gospel show, because I still work nightclubs. That spring bling commercial, so I go, that's my concert that's coming up April 9th, through another commercial in it. But when 
it came about, I had to make it while it was true so it could be believed. You got to be true to yourself so you can be believed. I put the show together so that I could erase the memory of Pookie and Ray Ray. Y'all know Pookie and Ray Ray? No, oh, sir. You know Pookie and Ray Ray? Pookie. Pookie and Ray Ray. <laughs> Pookie and Peanut. Yeah, Pook and Peanut. Yeah. <laughs> All you gotta do is turn on channel 10, channel 11, 12, and you'll see Pook and Ray Ray. That'll be the cat in the police car on MPD. That's Pookie. That'll be the cat that robbed the corner liquor store. That's Ray Ray. And if you look at the TV, that's the only image that you see of people that look like us. It's Pookie and Ray Ray. They don't see Tay, they don't see Chase. They don't see Tyree. Because Pookie and Ray Ray uh, robbed the bank and then went and bought some wine. And they caught him in the project, drinking wine with a sack of money by their leg. But that is not who you guys are. And by being a positive role model, you disseminate, throw away that image. So that's another part of the responsibility. You represent more than you. I read the same book. Uh, <laughs> But I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you guys for what you're doing. And the bad thing is you just start. It don't get no easier. It gets harder. Because somebody who knows more than you is going to tell you, you don't need no college, man. Look at me. I ain't going to no college. Yeah, but you was on the same corner three weeks ago. I'm probably on the same corner three years from now. They're going to tell you, man, you could have went somewhere else. You didn't have to go to them folks. But they ain't been nowhere. They say, so you're a wrestling champ. I bet I can beat you. How many people tell you that? <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Everybody can be you better than you. But the way you weigh it is, how good are they at being them? I can tell you, I taught Cam Newton everything he know. And if you ain't dumb, you know that's a lie. <laughs> you know, so you got to be wary. Everybody will join. Uh, I know you, 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 if you guys watch basketball, you've been watching uh, it's a guy in LSU, is it Simmons? Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Okay, one announcer said that the team sat down on him. He said, but they'll be, these same guys will be calling him next year for tickets. So don't let, because people sit down on you, it affect your outlook. Because, you know, you got a great future. You're doing it the right way. I commend you guys. You guys want to shout out any of your friends, anybody? <laughs> Class of 2016, I guess, everybody. We almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to add? No, sir. <laughs> I guess we're good. What's your favorite move? My favorite move? On the court. On the mat. On the mat. Uh, it's something called a lap drop. You get double over hooks with the arms and just fall back, use your body weight against, or their body weight against them, and then you pin them to the mat. Okay, your favorite play? Our favorite play called Pittsburgh Q. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what's Miami. that? <laughs> Pittsburgh Q, it's a counter play with, you fake it with the running mat, and I go follow the guard pulling. How many times you run it last year? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of in Miami. In Miami, the option, it's hard yeah. to stop the option. Your favorite play? Mine, I play defense, you know, so. Um, my offensive favorite play or defensive? Defensive. Okay. Uh, I guess Jacksonville. Jacksonville Black. It's me coming off the edge fast as I can to kill a quarterback. So. <laughs> not, not kill him. Take him out. <laughs> <laughs> What's your offensive play? Tampa. Tampa, right. Oh, yeah, Tampa. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Steph, Cam, and your favorite athlete was who, man? Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson. Yes, sir. I know I forgot that on purpose. No. <laughs> Trent, tough ball player. Okay, guys, anything you want to add? Oh, sir, thank you for having us. Thank you guys thank for man. coming. Uh, like, I said, like I said, when we spoke at the rec, I wanted you guys on. I want people to see positive individuals. You came, and you're definitely positive individuals. want to thank you for coming. Yes, sir. And anytime we can help, you let us know. Yes, yes sir. sir. We've been with members of Swag Plus. World uh, state champion, world champion next. <laughs> <laughs> We've been with Tay, Tyree, Chase. Thank you guys so much. Let's pay some bills. We'll be back after these commercial messages. Sir.
pictures, sit back there, please. You asked for it, you got it. The biggest show to hit South Central Alabama is coming to the world famous Rodeo Club, April 9th. Mark the date, April 9th, 2016. Doors open at 8. Party starts at 9. Four dynamic artists. Coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, it's Miss Lady Blue. Got me a good man. Ooh, talking about my also coming to the stage, Mr. Columbus Toy. And Alexander City's own, the homegrown, Rexton Lee. That's three great acts and a great show, but we're not finished. Also coming the same night, Funk Nation Band. You're going to part with every muscle in your body in Spring Bling 2016. At Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga, start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Silicaga. Wireless Advantage is Lake Martin's Verizon Premium Retailer. Located in the Marketplace Shopping Center on Highway 280 in Alex City. We've got all the latest cell phones along with the latest Wi-Fi internet products, home phone options, and state-of-the-art tablets. All backed up by Verizon's premium nationwide network. Don't get caught in long lines. Get full Verizon service and products from Apple, BlackBerry, Droid HTZ, iPad, LG, Motorola, and Samsung right here at home. Visit Wireless Advantage in the Marketplace Shopping Center in Alexander City on Highway 280 for all your Verizon wireless needs. If you haven't been to Big B Barbecue in Alex City, then you're missing the best barbecue around. Big B has everything from the best pulled or chopped pork, chicken and beef, to cheeseburgers and grilled chicken salads. Bring your friends and family out for a great dinner and sit outside on our beautiful patio. Or sit inside and enjoy your meal by the fireplace. So come in and join us and enjoy the best barbecue in the area only at Big B Barbecue, located on Highway 22 West in Alex City. All right, the 2002 Infiniti I-35 with sunroof, leather interior is a feature car at Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center. That's 2888 Daverville Road, Alexander City. The walking man's friend. It's buy here, pay here, no credit checks. Call Lori at Lake Martin Truck and Auto for great price. Got all the vehicles on the lot, but check out the Infiniti I-35 sunroof and leather. Man, it's been a great show, but we're not even finished. Can we put up that uh, spring bling thing again? You know, that's my concert, and I'm trying to do it again, and I just like it, so I want to do that again. I like that. Going to be four great artists. We might even add someone to the card. Rexton Lee, Funk Nation Band, Columbus Toy, Miss Lady Blues, not necessarily in that order, but it's going to be a great show. The tickets is $10 in advance, 15 at the door. You can see me for tickets. We have tickets here at the studio. And we have tickets at the Rodeo Club. Go get some more ticket outlets. But my number is 256-496-1958. Call me for tickets. Mo, uh, Wheel, uh, oh, I ain't going to call nobody out. But let's go to this video. It's Blues and Barbecue. Big Rob and Denise and Sam. Big Rob and the Queen, the Queen, Denise LaSalle. 
Blues and Barbecue. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. It's been real. Don't forget now, uh, Collider Idol, the finals. It's going to be February 25th. No idols this week. On Friday the 25th, 15 contestants going for the crown. And uh, we're going to crown a winner. Collider Idol at the World Famous Rodeo Club. Uh, it's been real. It's been fun. I've had a great time. Thank you, my guests. Ah, I'm Iceberg Slim, man. It's all good. See you guys next time.